Okay, I'm gonna do a video here on uh, map enhancers. For all you people that use map enhancers, um, I just wanna show you a little something that proves that the computer will put back its parameters, okay? This vehicle at this point, there is no hydrogen. As you see, it's turned off. This is one of our test vehicles. Um, we do a lot of testing with this. Um, I just want to show you something real interesting, which I've known for years, but I just decided to go ahead and do a video on it. Now, you can see that the computer is swinging. It's air fuel ratio from 14.7, uh, 14.5 to, to 15.1, okay? As the air fuel ratio gets richer, as you can see, it gets richer, it, get, it shows over there 14.7, 14.6, whatever. And then when it goes to lean, it goes up to 15.1, 15.2. Now, what I'm going to show you, this is a map adjuster. Everybody sells these things. I'm going to show you. The O2 sensor has a direct effect on when you adjust it. Now watch, I'm going to lean it out, and you're going to see that the air fuel ratio, oh, it's going up, 16, 17. Let me go ahead and just... Uh, get it up to about 16.2. Now watch, within seconds, the computer will figure it out and put the air fuel ratio back to its normal parameters, okay? Now you see it starting to swing again, okay? Now I don't know what the actual percentage of map that we got on here, but the interesting thing is, is within seconds, the computer will figure it out, okay? Now you can see it's pretty much found the parameter. Now to prove it, I'm going to take the map sensor and I'm going to swing it real fast back to factory. Now notice that it's dumping way more fuel. That's at 12.7, 12 point whatever air fuel ratio. Now look, it's immediately going back to the factory parameters. So I don't know how these people think these map sensors work unless you're manipulating the O2 sensor at the same time. Again, you don't want to be manipulating the, the sensors on the car. It just doesn't work correctly. You talk to any mechanic about it, they'll tell you the same thing. But the state of this video is just to prove to you that the computer is so sophisticated that it wants to wants to go back to its factory air fuel ratio of 14.7 to 1. And that's what's cool about this vehicle. I can actually turn off the O2 sensor and then I can run this to 22, even up to 25 to 1 air fuel ratio and still have lots of power with lots of hydrogen. But I'm not getting into that. Um, just again, let's do it one more time. You can see me turn it up and I'm going to turn it way up. Maybe almost make the engine die. Okay. There's 17. I mean, look, there's almost 18, almost hit 18 to 1. Now look, look how fast the computer reacts to go back to factory um, air fuel ratio of uh, 14.71, okay? That was only maybe four or five seconds and it figured it out, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and sweep it right back down to zero and watch where the air fuel ratio goes. It's going to probably go to like 12 or 11, okay? 11. So now it's dumping a ton of fuel back in there. The O2 sensor is going to read that as, okay, it's running too rich, running too rich. And within a matter of probably like 10, 15 seconds, it's going to go back. And this is why it's important to have these air fuel ratio gauges for testing so that you can actually see instantly what, what your engine is doing. See, now it went back to factory air fuel ratio. So for all those people out there that think they can manipulate it, I hate to tell you not gonna work might work for a little bit but that's about it all right well just thought I'd do a video to make people understand that uh, map sensors really don't work thank you